the mountains, the valleys, and the contours of the land evoke a spiritual inspiration, which has been woven into the very fabric of Sikkimese culture. The culture is diverse, but finds reflection in Buddhism also, which through centuries has evolved into a dazzling heritage with an ongoing sense of pageantry and ritual. Legend claims that Padma Sambhava, the Indian saint who planted Buddhism in Tibet, visited and personally consecrated the religious spots of Sikkim. The pervasive influence of this religion is evident in the sacred mountains, the holy lakes and the stupas. In desolate mountain regions, along routes fringing monasteries, flutter the prayer flags. And on these flags, as also carved on the rocks, are the mantras, the most common being Om Mane Peme Hum, Hail to the Jewel in the Lotus. The ancient stupas of Sikkim show some of the crumbling effects of time, but they continue to endure. And in the monasteries of Sikkim resonates the heartbeat of Buddhist culture. Here a spiritual way of life has been transformed into a living tradition. The premier monastery of Sikkim is Pema Yangtze, the perfect sublime lotus. Situated in West Sikkim, overlooking a spectacular view of the Kanchenjunga range, Pema Yangtze was built in 1705. Like in most Buddhist monasteries, monks are trained here in secret meditative teachings. The interior of the monastery has some of the most magnificent and original art preserved. The precepts of Buddhism can be best seen and admired in this formal art. Tashiding in West Sikkim is another ancient monastery and an important site of pilgrimage. It is said that Padma Sambhava shot an arrow in the air and vowed to meditate where it fell. The arrow dropped on the spot where the monastery stands today. In the prayer hall of the monastery echo the liturgical chants mantras, the mudras, all of which seem to have come down almost intact from another time and another place. Thirty kilometers from Gangtok and facing it on an opposite hill is Rumtek the seat of the Karma Kagyu order of Tibetan Buddhism. This monastery was built by the 16th Gewa Karmapa, who was the 16th reincarnate of the ancient unbroken lineage of Karmapas. The monastery architecture and the ornate designs, along with the intricate murals on the walls, all reflect the best of the Buddhist tradition. Inside the monastery, vast libraries 
hold texts reverently stored, and these contain spiritual insights of the great teachers. The young novice will make his education a lifelong process as he will study art, calligraphy, as well as mantras and the intricacies of various rituals. The monasteries are the venue of all Buddhist festivals. Men, women and children all flock to these festivals. And devotion is shown in the traditional manner by offering white scarves called khadas. The highlight of these festivals is the charm or lama dances. Wearing ritual masks, dressed in ornate costumes of elegant brocade, the monks portray legendary characters. Their movements retell ancient stories from the dawn of the Buddhist era. Every dance has a specific spiritual meaning. Every movement speaks a language related to meditation and cosmic insight. Finally, the dancers symbolically reaffirm the triumph of good over evil. The clowns, who are constant companions to the dancers, perform the role of entertainers, giving relief to the rather solemn proceedings. There are a number of important monasteries and religious shrines in Sikkim, each with a distinctive lineage. And to this day, a healthy trace of the original splendor still flourishes, and where the universal truths of their living heritage remain to be shared and experienced. <laughs>